Welcome to Royal Secrets. Should Harry and Meghan renounce their titles? But before we continue please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates. As Meghan's new podcast launches, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry continued to make shocking revelations about the royal family, leading nearly all express.co.uk readers to agree that were no longer deserving of their royal titles. Last week, Meghan Markle's podcast Archetypes made its debut on Spotify and immediately became a fan favorite. Over the course of the first two episodes, Meghan spoke with Serena Williams and Mariah Carey and provided additional information about her unsettling encounter with the British monarchy. Harry made hints about conflict within the royal family during an interview with her husband and their son Archie Harrison to promote the podcast. In 2020, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex left their royal positions to focus on other endeavors and achieve financial independence. Since then, the duo has inked a multi-year podcast deal with Spotify and a development arrangement with Netflix. Its claimed purpose is to tear apart the boxes women have been placed into for millennia, but Meghan's podcast archetypes has also proven to be a useful tool for criticizing the royal family. I don't remember ever personally feeling the negative connotation behind the word ambitious until I started dating my now husband, Meghan remarked on the first episode, which featured a conversation with tennis pro Serena Williams about women and ambition. Should Meghan and Harry lose their titles? was the question put to readers in a poll, the tran on express.co.uk from 6 p.m. on Wednesday, August 31, to 10 a.m. on Thursday, September 1. A whopping 17,559 people responded, with 98% of them, 17,234, saying that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex should give up their royal titles. Only 2%, 273 persons, responded no, while a further 52 people claimed they did not know. Readers explained their votes in the hundreds of comments they made underneath the companion article. The overwhelming majority of readers explained why Meghan and Harry's royal titles were no longer deserving, and the conclusion was almost universally expressed in the words of user Shakervara, yes, of course. More forcefully, user AlphaSilk exclaimed, yes, 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 long overdue. The titles should have been withdrawn as soon as they stopped being working royals and moved out of the UK, remarked user Beehive Matter of Factly. More in-depth discussions about the topic were started by other readers. Worldwatcher, who goes by the username, stated that maybe his title of prince is his birthright, but his other titles the Duke of Sussex, Earl of Dumberton, and Baron Kilkeel can be and should be removed. The royal family has to adopt a procedure where any titles conferred must go through a preliminary step to determine whether the individuals, etc. merit such an honor, and if they don't measure up, the titles are automatically revoked, wrote user Alfonsada Barbo. A trial term of 10 years would be sufficient. The validity of the British title system as a whole was questioned by user E8, who asked, my concern is why do they still have them? Username exiled in the desert SW expanded on this idea, claiming that titles like King, Queen, Prince, Princess, Duke, and Duchess, as well as all the unique privileges that go along with them, have no place in the 21st century. Only a society that is stuck in the past would continue to support a class structure that elevates a select group of individuals based only on who they are, rather than their accomplishments. Slow Burn, who goes by the user handle Slow Burn, expressed less enthusiasm for reform, writing, that would require a parliamentary act. The trouble is scarcely worth it. To be released in time for Christmas, Prince Harry's tell-all memoir is rumored to include more upsetting revelations for the royal family. The Duke of Sussex is uncertain about the book's release, according to Page Six, who also suggested that the book may not be released until next year. The royal family is disappointed by Meghan Markle's latest comments in The Cut magazine and on her podcast, according to an unidentified source cited by Entertainment Tonight. They are upset that she still makes family problems public after resigning from the royal family and citing a need for seclusion. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for us.